Okay, now question number 7b. Um, here the question says, if 5 is added to the square of a positive number, we don't know that number, but if you square that number and add it, if you add a 5 on it, the total sum would be 69. So find the number. So we have to find a number if you add a 5 on its square, so the total sum would be 69. So let me assume, let us assume and that number be number equals to x. You can just say like that number is x. By the questions, by questions, what the question says, if you add a 5 on the square of this number, right? So I have to square up it. If I square the number and add a 5, the sum would be 69. Now we have to simplify, we have to find that number. That means you have to simplify, right? So x squared equals to 69 minus 5, which is equals to 64, which is equals to 80 squared. Because I'm taking that 5 to the right, so 69 minus 5, which is 69 5 minus 5 means 64. 64 is the square of 8. That is, that is, x squared is equal to 80 squared, therefore, x is equal to 8. Because we only need the positive number, we don't need the negative number. So, there is a possibility, you could write x is equal to plus minus 8, but we need a x is equal to positive number. We don't need the negative number because we want the positive number. So the positive number, this is your answer. It's a required number. You may leave an answer directly x equals to 8 instead of writing a, x equals to plus minus 8. Okay, let me rephrase it again. Since the 5 is added to the square of a positive number, the sum is 69, we have to find the number. Okay, let me assume that number to be x. Then by the questions it says, if you square this number, if you square this number and add a 5 on it, add a 5 on it, the total sum would be 69. Firstly, I have to do the square and add a 5. Square and add a 5, the sum is 69. Now, subtracting 5, or you can say taking that 5 to the right side, you have 69 minus 5, which is 64. 64 means 80 squared. That is, we have x squared equals to 80 squared. Taking a square root on both sides, you can write down down here, but it's not necessary, but you can write down, taking a square root on both sides, x equals to plus minus 8, but we only need the positive number, so x equals to 8 is the required number. That's your answer. Thank you.